warns he could now be charged with manslaughter. Andrew Mears has made an emotional appearance in court for the death of 25-year-old Rosemary Ives near Turangi at Labour Weekend. Amy Kelly reports. From the moment he stepped into the stand, Andrew Mears wept, along with family members supporting the young husband and father. I think he's prepared to pay the penalty for what he's done. As simple as that. He's not going to hide from that. Mia's lawyer read out a letter the 25-year-old's written to the family of Rosemary Ives. I'm so sorry for the dreadful loss that I've caused you all. I can never imagine the pain you must be enduring. Every second of the day I wish I could turn the clock back. I just want to wake up and wish it never happened. I know it is selfish, but it will be with me forever. Andrew Mears offered a guilty plea to the current charge of careless use of a firearm causing death, but was remanded for two weeks while the Crown Solicitor considers whether that should be upgraded to manslaughter. Mears did not follow any of the accepted practices in identifying his target, relying solely on the fact that he believed the lights that he saw were the eyes of the deer. Mears fired the fatal shot from the back of his friend's ute, a mate beside him holding a spotlight. His lawyer says going shooting that night was a spur-of-the-moment decision. They were actually snuggled up in their sleeping bags to go and have it to sleep for the night, and it was only because the two other friends had been told that there may be some deer in the vicinity that then they made that decision. In his letter to the Ives family, Mears says he will never hunt again. I immediately arranged for my wife to take away all my hunting gear, my rifle, the safe, and an antler I found on a previous trip. I do not want to be have anything to do with hunting again, nor do I want my infant son to. He'll be in court again in a fortnight. Amy Kelly, One News.